Okay, so this is the Arduino Duemila Nove, the Sony RMT V202, and a breadboard uh, right here. First, I'm going to uh, explain what all is going on with this breadboard. Here is an infrared receiver from Radio Shack. Here are two 100 ohm resistors hooked up in series. Um, the idea is to get a single 220 ohm resistor, but you know, this is pretty close. Here are two LEDs. This LED indicates when information is being received by the infrared receiver, and this LED responds to the uh, power button uh, when I push it on the remote. And that's all handled uh, by the Arduino itself. The, the logic for controlling these LEDs is uh, programmable in software. This is a 10 kilo ohm resistor, uh, each one for each LED hooked up to the ground. So the, the pins on the Arduino, uh, pin 7 receives digital pulses from the infrared receiver, pin 9 and pin 11 control the two LEDs. And over here uh, we have 5 volts going to the infrared receiver and the ground. So here are essentially two separate circuits uh, connecting the Arduino to uh, the output and to the input. So uh, to demonstrate how the software works, Arduino is producing uh, output over the serial connection, so that shows up on the screen um, in response to uh, input from the remote itself. So if I press the display button, you'll notice uh, that it toggles key output. So whenever I press a button that I don't have the Arduino specifically programmed to respond to, then this produces kind of debugging output. This says the integer mapping of the key that I'm pressing. Uh, if I press the record button, I'm actually going to turn off the, the key output. Um, this actually displays the digital pulses themselves, um, the length of the pulse uh, being received by the infrared receiver. So uh, when I press 1 on the remote, um, the output is 700, 696, 704, and so on. Basically, this means 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Uh, that's why some of the pulses are around 700 milliseconds and some are around uh, 1,200 milliseconds. Uh, next up, I'll turn that off, um, and I hit the power button, and it turns on the LED up here. Uh, this is now controlled um, by the rocker switch down here. When I press play on the rocker switch, it makes the two LEDs kind of alternate. Um, when I press left and down, it dims this LED here. So uh, I'm going to dim it all the way down to nothing. And uh, now it's off. So the LED indicates that it is off by blinking this LED very rapidly. The, it essentially means uh, I can't go any lower with it. Um, and the same would happen if I moved it all the way to maximum intensity, but I'm not going to do that right now. So uh, the, the, con the code for controlling the behavior of these LEDs is uh, available uh, in a zip file on rtfa.net, and you can uh, make this circuit and totally modify the behavior of it simply by changing the software. You don't actually have to change any of the circuit. Okay, thank you.